Good evening, Rockman. It is Terry, the ultimate average athlete here, and you are catching me the night before I take on the Wildfire Furnace Challenge from Rockman as part of the Rucking Hell Challenge series. It's the fourth and final challenge of the series, and this one is especially brutal. So what is the Wildfire Furnace? Well, it's inspired by one of the hardest fitness tests called the Hot Shot 500, created by the Wildfire Fighters in America. Because as you can imagine, if you're a Wildfire Fighter, Eagle. If you're a wild firefighter, you are tackling some of the biggest and most aggressive blazes you can. So your, your fitness and strength and resilience has to be top notch. And this is one of the fitness tests which they created and it has been billed as one of the hardest fitness tests out there. So Rockman have taken that fitness test and they've created their own variation. They've taken inspiration from it to create a, uh, a fitness test as part of the Rocking Hell Challenge series. So what does this test in involve? Well, this is a six mile hike carrying 15 kilograms, where you have to achieve up to 15,000 feet of elevation during those six miles, and you have to complete a certain amount of reps of certain exercises before you finish the challenge. Those exercises are 100 push-ups, 100 flutter kicks, 100 bent over rows, 50 pack curls, 50 shoulder presses, 50 burpees, and 50 squats. Uh, this is going to be a very eventful morning for me. So my plan is I'm going to head to Brecon Beacons. I'm going to head up to Penavan, which is the highest point in southern Britain. That is going to be my course and that is where I'm going to hopefully achieve the full 15,000 feet of elevation. Now obviously some people, they're not fortunate enough to live around um, hilly areas, so it is recommended that those people perhaps do hill repeats. So you could go and find that the highest point of elevation around you locally and perform hill repeats. Now I know that does sound boring, but this is a mental test as much as it is physical. So it, it's all about the resilience and digging in. In terms of the exercises, you can perform them however you want. You don't have to perform 100 push-ups straight out and 100 flutter kicks straight out. You can break it up. You can do 10 reps of each exercise at certain points throughout, or you, know, you can save them all for the end. You can save them all for the middle. It's up to you. You've just got to complete them. That's all it is. Is. And it is recommended as well that you, you definitely finish the reps before you finish the run because I don't think there's anything more disheartening than when you think you finish the run and then you've got another hundred reps of something to bust out. So with that being said, I'm off to bed. Yes, I'm having a little whiskey before, but uh, you know, it's rock and roll just to calm the nerve. And I will see you in the morning, bright and early, 5.30 wake up, that's when the, the alarm set for. Uh, we'll be driving to Penavan and I'll be starting in the morning. I will see you there. Good morning everyone. It is just past 6 a.m. and I'm getting ready to go up to Penavan in the Brecon Beacons. But I thought before I head off I would show you the kit I'm taking. Now I'm not expecting this to be a three, four hours challenge. I'm expecting it to be, to be, to be between one and a half, maybe two and a half hours. So the kit is, you don't have to take a lot of kit. Um, the weather at Penavan, I am expecting to be windy and very wet. Uh, obviously it gets chilly at the top as well. So right now I'm wearing my uh, Rockman base layer, which I'll be wearing up. And I've also got my uh, Rockman leggings on, my running leggings. And uh, that'll just provide some nice warmth for me going up and keep the, uh, the wind chill off me. We then got what I'll be uh, popping on my head is my cap. Keep the bonds warm. I did debate whether wearing a beanie, but I've done that before. You wear a beanie and about halfway up uh, the hill, because the blood is pumping as you're, you're getting up the hill, uh, your head is gets boiling, you end up taking it off, and it usually gets soaking as well. So a cap for me for today will be fine. Um, if it does get windy and wet, I've got my Rab waterproof. I'll whack that on, more to keep the wind off, if anything. Not necessarily uh, keep you dry, uh, you can sort of deal with the, the wetness, but uh, definitely the wind, because the wind, when you are wet and it's really windy, it can become freezing. Um, also, I've got my weights for the pack. So I've got 15 kilograms worth of dumbbells. So that's going in the pack, which will be on my back. Um, for a little snack, if I do get hungry, or certainly afterwards when I finish the challenge, banana and a Vala energy gel. Then you've got your emergency stuff, which you need to take, as always, when you're up the mountains. First aid kit, that'll just go in the bag. Pack of tissues. Oh, fuck. Battery died on the camera, so switch it over. Um, where were we? 
pack of tissues in case you get caught short. It has happened to me once or twice, uh, and these can save your life. Um, full blanket, you never know, you never know. You know, that'll keep you warm. So should you sprain an ankle and you can't move or something, this will keep you warm. Um, and then I'll always carry some nice big plasters just in case a nice little uh, blister bruise on the back of the heel. Um, then over here, I've got a full-on bottle of water for afterwards. Um, I've also taken water with me up on the run as well. Flask full of hot coffee for afterwards as well. It's nice to have a nice little hot coffee when you get in. Also, at the end of the challenge, we will be stopping by McDonald's drive-thru to get a nice little uh, McDonald's breakfast, little uh, egg McBacon McMuffin or whatever they're called. But I will be having one of them as a little treat. But um, let's get up there now. I'm going to drive up there and let's start it. Let's uh, and hopefully get up there before sunrise. Let's see that. Right, we're at the base of Penna van. Uh, it is absolutely pitch black out here. However, the sun is coming up, so it will get brighter very soon. Um, I'm all packed. I'm ready to go. I've got my 15 kilos in my bag. So with that being said, let's get to the base. Let's start the Garmin and let's get this challenge done. And three, two, one. We're off. So we are starting with a 10 kilo dumbbell, digging right into the middle of my back. Well, not too bad now, but let's catch up in about an hour and see how that's doing. Okay, we're 21 minutes in. I reckon that's about halfway up the hill, that mountain. We're gonna stop. Let's have the 100 reps of each. Push ups, plus kicks, bend over rows. Here we go. That's the hundreds done. That's the hundreds done. Big bent, me. Let's crack on. Get this hill done. Get down, finish off the 50s. Here we go. I'll be honest, I didn't realize how much those exercises were taking out me. <sighs> My heart is still peaking. I find it very fucking hard. See you at this hill. Oh, finally reached a bit of flat to get a bit of a jog on. But that was brutal. Just the fatigue setting in. Heavy legs, heavy arms, heavy back, straining neck. <laughs> but we're nearing the top now, not far. Harry, we reached the top. Now let's get back down. Make the way down now. And the dumbbell in the rucksack has decided to really start to wedge into my little back. And with every step, jogging down is smashing into my back but I haven't got time to readjust I just have to put up with it till the end reached the bottom now now we're going to bust out the extra reps four and miles in two miles to go let's get the reps done Two miles and 50 burpees to go. Let's go. This is messed up. That thumbbell is really shifted and digging right in my lower back. Right, find a nice river to bust out the burpees. We've just got over one mile to go. Bust out these burpees and then get to that finish and get it over. So let's get this done. Burpee's done. Let's get this final mile done. Ah, back 
back at Rockman HQ and we've completed the challenge and of course I fumbled my phone in the with the fatigue and the coldness with my fingers and I didn't actually capture the final bit where I completed the challenge. So a bit of an anticlimax. But I finished the challenge in two hours, eight minutes and 58 seconds. And that was two hours, eight minutes and 58 seconds of pure brutality. That was a very tough challenge. I even managed to secure 1,000 495 feet of elevation which is five feet short of maximum points for the rockman challenge sickening i know that's almost uh, top points that does secure me 14 points for elevation so in total my points were 20 points for completion 14 points for elevation, five extra points for doing full push-ups, five extra points for doing full jumping push-up burpees, and 12 points for my time, giving me a total of 56 points on the Rockman leaderboard. That was a tough challenge. It was a, a it tested everything, that test. No wonder it's one of the, the hardest fitness tests in the world. It tests your strength, it tests your stamina, it tests your resilience, it tests your endurance, and it tests your fitness. It's a complete rounded challenge to test all areas. Beautifully brutal is how I would describe it, but it is a true test of your physical and mental fortitude. And if you are thinking it's too tough for you, there's no way you could do it, well, Rockman offer different entry levels. There is advanced, which I undertook, intermediate, which is just five miles, um, moderate which is just four miles and the novice which is just three miles and there's also different movement variations for the push-ups and burpees so you don't actually have to do full push-ups you could do kneeling push-ups or burpees there, there was a variation where you could just do controlled standing each with different allocated points now my advice if you're going to actually go out and do this is pack your pack pack your pack tight and with padding that dumbbell sticking in my back has left a massive red mark on my uh, back today. My, my back muscles are really sore. So my advice would be definitely get your pack sorted correctly when you go out. Also, burpees, man. They are a killer. And I left them to the end. And I think if I was going to do this again, I think I would do them at the start. Because having them at the end, my whole body was so heavy. My legs were heavy. My shoulders were heavy. My arms were heavy. Um, it really took it out of me. So I would advise maybe getting them done first. Get your burpees done first. That's the hardest bit out of the way. And then the rest of exercises aren't as taxing on your body. But you've also got to remember why we're doing these challenges. Um, obviously, these challenges can add purpose, meaning, interest and fun to your training, which obviously helps you to stay focused on your fitness goals. You're more inclined to get out and train in the week when you've actually got something to aim for. And also, it's in these challenges where you actually discover your true strength. Taking on challenges and embracing discomfort of these physical pursuits actually helps achieve greater psychological activation, increasing your mental strength and your ability to deal with stress and pressure throughout your everyday life. And also it gives us a feeling of accomplishment and pride, which helps build upon our confidence and self-esteem, which in turn lends itself to our mental health, our mental well-being, and our overall quality of life. So if you do want to take on the, these challenges, check out Rockman, um, put the link in the, uh, in the bio below so you can go and check out, have a little look at the challenges, get them involved in your training, increase your motivation, increase your interest in training and help you stay focused on your fitness goals don't forget to welcome the pain and embrace the suffering and i will see you in the next video bye bye